Since I'll be doing another drift event, I believe it's the 28th of August, I thought it would be a great idea to increase the steering angle on the Miata. Because stock, it isn't that much, the turning circle is quite large, and when you're a little bit more serious into drifting, you notice that the steering angle sometimes isn't enough. You spin out or, yeah, the angle which your drift is in isn't like you want it. So I bought some drift knuckles. They cut a small piece out of here, then re-weld everything, and this should increase the steering angle quite a lot. Because a lot of you made comments about my flip-flops and them being the perfect footwear for when working on cars, especially for you guys, I put them on again. Let's get the forklift and get the Miata in the air. So next step, removing the caliper, the bracket, brake disc. Wheel bearing comes off really smooth. So now let's get this dust shield out of the way. I believe two, no, three 10 mil bolts. And then let's get this knuckle out of the way and install the new one. And now you're wondering, how do I get this thing which is absolutely stuck loose? Well, smack here with a hammer and it falls out immediately. And as you can see, it's that easy. First let's take the cutter pins out and then let's start with the upper one. Done. By the way, you should definitely follow me on Snapchat. It's Luca minus CM. That way you will get the latest updates and most of my videos are a week or two weeks later than it actually happened. So if you want to be updated with all the news, follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram. Links in the description. The knuckle is loose and let's compare it to the new one. As you can see, the arm for the steering ball joint is a lot longer on this one, which means with the same amount of steering, this will have a lot more angle than this one. And yeah, I'm going to fix this gaping hole and this gaping hole somewhere in the future. So, of course on the ground it will look a lot different, but let's rotate it. Ooh, what? <laughs> oh my god guys, this is insane. And it clears the control arm with like one centimeter. But yeah, <laughs> insane steering angle, awesome, I love it. It's insane. And from here, <laughs> it's so much, but I do need to grind something off from the lower control arm or I need to fit the wheels which are in the back because those are ET zeros and they stick out one centimeter further. And I think I'll be doing that because I hate grinding in stuff which is quite important. Before I left, I slightly needed to adjust the alignment, just slightly. I <laughs> turned the rods like eight times, maxed them out. So probably when I get the alignment, they need to cut a bit off and then align it because yeah, at the moment I maxed them out, but it steers okay now. So I think it's time to find a nice stretch of road and do some skids.
So the angle upgrade, definitely worth it. The knuckles were like 100 pounds, I believe. And when you return your normal ones, he'll refund you 30 pounds. So they're actually 70 pounds, plus shipping, of course. But they look really nice, really good quality. And if you want to check them out, go to his website. It will be in the description. No, this isn't paid endorsement. But if you like a product, I want to let you guys know where you can get it. So make sure to check it out if you want some, if not, perfectly fine. But in around one month, I'll be doing a drift event. So this will come in very handy and my girlfriend will be there as well. So probably I'm going to teach her some drifting as well. Should be fun. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to get all the latest updates. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, this new crazy mother